it's in the game. Complete. Incomplete. Complete.
four, twenty six. Interception. Four. Incomplete. Set. Hut.
incomplete. Incomplete. Set. Blue. Twenty six. Twenty four. Four. Four, four, six, blue, hut, twenty four, 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 thirty four. Four. 
five. Blue. Red. Incomplete. Incomplete. Set. Twenty four. Four four. No good.
four, twenty five, twenty five, thirty. Uh Oh, what? What? Incomplete. Incomplete.
interception. Four. 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 It's good. Four. Complete.
incomplete. Set. 24. 24. Blue. 34. Set. Incomplete. It's good. Offside.
EA Sports. It's in the game. Brad Nessler. With me as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. We're still feeling the heat and will continue to do so throughout the night as we get set for the Vanderbilt Commodores and the LSU Tigers. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. And here come the Tigers. The Tigers are heavily favored to win this game. Kirk, do you think they'll have any problems today at all? LSU is so explosive because they try to get the ball into this receiver's hands as much as possible. And what he can do after the catch is what makes him one of the best in the game. And they'll win this game big. I gotta go with the favorite in this one. I'm taking LSU. Teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. Here's the kick. Graham has it at the five. He shoots. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Well, if you haven't heard about him before, then now is the time to know this cornerback's name. He's a great player, and he'll be asked to shut down the opposing team's number one receiver. He has his hands full today, though. He'll be covering a very good receiver. Kirk, it doesn't matter. This kid is fast and smart, and he loves to play the game. I don't see the offense going his way. We'll keep an eye on this matchup, that's for sure. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 23. Vanderbilt lines up in his shotgun set. Smith steps back to pass, steps up in the pocket, and he's taken down at the 26-yard line. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on their own 26. He drops back. Smith lets it go. Complete. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. Vanderbilt ready to put this one away. Brooks 
is back deep to return the punt. Punts the ball away. Brooks fields it at the 27. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. The offense will start at the 35-yard line. They come out with a big set. Jefferson still has it across the middle, and they make the stop at the 49. What did you see there, guys? The defense was in zone coverage. The offense did a good job of protecting the quarterback, and he threw a nice ball to get the first down. And the receiver ran a nice route to get up between the zone coverage. We've got a first and ten. They're in the eye. Here's the give. Brought down at the 49-yard line. They'll give him an inch or two, if that. It's second down and ten to go. Ball right around midfield. This defense is in the dime. Play action. He's rolling left. He lets it go. Intercepted. It's the linebacker. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. They'll take over at the 41. Vanderbilt lines up with three receivers. Drops back to pass. Stepping up. Surveys the field. Throws it. And it's caught. And he's tackled in the open field. So they execute and move a little closer to the sticks. Yeah, complete those short passes is the key because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big game. Second down and six. Ball on the 45-yard line. Smith comes to the line with three wide. Smith with a nice play fake. Smith lets it go. Incomplete pass. It would have been a tough completion here, but it was still a good read by the quarterback. I know there's not a lot to like about an incompletion, but that was a nice job of putting the ball in a spot where only his man could catch it. Either his man was going to catch it, or no one was going to You're catch right, it. You're right, Coach. He didn't move the chains, but he did keep the ball away from those guys in the second half. Vanderbilt in a four-wide set. He's looking to pass. Throws it out there. The ball is tipped. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Wimberly was the intended target on the play. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. They line up to punt this one away. Kent is waiting for the snap. He punts this one high in the air. Brooks signals for a fair catch. Their last drive ended when they decided to try for it on fourth down and were turned away by the defense. They'll go to work at the 23-yard line. LSU lines up with three receivers. He throws it. It's complete. They'll bring him down at the 24. They get a yard on the play. From their own 24-yard line. Second and nine coming up here. Going with the shotgun here. Setting up play action. Let's it go. Ben move. Tackle made at the 41. Richardson looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Some coaches want to say mind over matter. But if you're hurt, you're hurt. Simple as that. Nothing you can do about it.
It's first down. They line up in the shotgun. Jefferson at the throw. Deep pass down the right side. And he got it! He's all the way down to the 22. That'll get some good yardage for the receiver. This kid is one heck of a wideout. He's the guy you got to get the ball to as much as you can because he can do things that make you say, whoa. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22. LSU comes out with an eye formation. Back to pass. Looks. Jefferson rifles it. He snags it. Tackle at the 17. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 17-yard line. Number 34, alone in the backfield. Jefferson, back to pass. Short draw. Complete. And guys, you can just feel the momentum building with this drive. That's their third first down on this drive alone, Coach. Yep. We all know how important momentum is in college football. This defense really needs to step up and get some of it back. It's first and ten. They're inside the 20. The Tigers go with the eye formation. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped them yet. Excellent open field tackle. From the five-yard line, second down, four yards to go. Eye formation looking for six. him in the backfield. Well, folks, we just saw what can happen if you don't pick up all your blocks. And that was an ugly nightmare from the beginning. They'll line it up at the nine. Jefferson with three wide receivers. Defense looking for his first in completion this drive. He might have gained a yard on that scramble. And we're all tied up at the end of the first quarter. It's fourth down. This will be a 25-yarder. Trying to take the lead by a field goal. He gets it up, and it's right down the middle. and ready for the kickoff. And it's off. Norman fields it at the one. Can't wrap him up at the 30. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. The offense looked a bit out of sync on that last possession, Coach. And it was the defense that threw them out of sync, Kirk. Those guys are fired up. Let's see if they can hold them again. They'll start this drive at the 32. The Commodore come out showing three wide. Might have been some early movement up front. Let's start on the offense. Well, that will move them back five yards. Yep, it's not going to make life any easier on this offense. First down. Offense couldn't get those linemen blocked and they'll lose yards. 
Well, here the defensive lineman did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. From their own 25-yard line, it's second and long. The Commodore line up with Trips Wright. He's looking to pass. Here they come. Smith delivers. Caught. He's tackled at the 41. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. It's third down and a yard for the first down. The Commodore come out in a bunch formation. Stop behind the line. There was just no daylight on that play. The defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Brooks is back awaiting the punt. Gets it away. Brooks fields at the 18. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. The offense will take over at the 24-yard line. They line up in an eye. With the give. Got an opening. And he's tackled at the 41-yard line. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. First and 10. Ball on their own 41. LSU up with four receivers. Here comes the pressure. They bring the quarterback down. Second they line up at the 36. It's second down. They're in the eye. Drops back to pass. Throws off balance. They can't connect. Incomplete. Randall was the intended target. That'll bring up third down. Third it's third down at 15 to go. Ball on the 36. The defense is looking for the pass as they bring out their dime package. Jefferson drops back. He sails it long. Batted ball. Shepard was the intended receiver on the play. That's going to bring up fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Norman is the deep man awaiting the return. Punts the ball away. Norman takes it to 21. The offense comes back down the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. But Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're going to look to do the same here. They'll set up shot at the 25-yard line. Smith comes to the line with three wide. Smith drops back on first down. Flips it, and it falls incomplete. You got to be careful throwing in the coverage like that. Well, Coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. It's second down and 10 to go. All on the 25-yard line. Vanderbilt lines up with three receivers. 
Schmidt drops back. He lets it go. And this one falls incomplete. Kurt. Yeah, Coach. Did you see that drop pass? Yeah, but it's safe to say that he heard footsteps, don't you think? I mean, the defender almost got there at the same time as the football. All right. Well, the correct answer is yes, he did drop the football. Come on, sweetheart. The quarterback is trying to get to the ball. You got to make those kind of plays out there. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. He steps up. Schmidt lets it go. It falls incomplete. So they go three and out after that incompletion. The Commodores line up the punt. Kent awaits the snap. He punts it. Loses the football. Offense falls on it. And a big change in momentum right here, Kirk. And you know what? When the other offense takes the field, I say they go for the home run on the very first play. I like your thinking, Kirk. They always say a defense is most vulnerable after a turnover. That's right, Coach. If I were calling the shots, that's what I would do. Smith drops back to pass. Throws. That's incomplete. He might have been looking to run and didn't secure the ball. Well, sometimes you see young players do this. This is something they have to work very hard to be able to overcome. From the 33-yard line, second down. Smith, back in the gun, steps up. He's looking down the middle. Incomplete, almost picked off. It was the safety that almost came up with a big play. Not a very good read here by the quarterback. Kirk, I don't think he even saw the safety. But this offense is lucky that he couldn't hang on to the football. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 33. LSU put six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver look. He jukes. He's taken off. And he's taken down at the 30 yard line. He keeps it and maybe gets three yards. Fourth down. And the kicking team's on to try this 47 yard field goal. Vanderbilt is down three and looking to tie it up. It's up. And the field goal is good. He looked pretty good kicking the ball there. Yep, the kicker did a good job of keeping his head down and striking the ball right between the goal posts for a long field goal. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And this one's a short kick. Brooks fields it at the 11. They're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series had some promise, but it ended with a punt. They'll go to work at the 30. First and 10. LSU comes out with five receivers. They'll throw on first down. He'll dump this one off. Complete to the true freshman. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. LSU comes out with an I formation. 
Jefferson drops back to pass. He looks across the middle. And that one's fallen incomplete. That would have been a tough catch for the wide receiver. Third down. They line up in the jumbo set. Jefferson running the option. Now he pitches it. And down he goes at the 38-yard line. Vanderbilt takes a timeout, and they've got two remaining. They come out in a punt formation. Kelton is waiting for the snap. He really got a hold of that one. Norman fields it at the 18. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll take over at the 22-yard line. Vanderbilt goes with the ace set here. Smith with a nice play fake. And they couldn't hook up on that one. That's not a bad decision right there. He's just got to give his man a shot at catching it. Yep. He put a little bit too much on that pass. They line up at the 22. It's second down. Vanderbilt lines up in a bunch formation. Rolling out to the left side. Looking. Smith gets sacked for the loss. The defense calls a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. And from their own 20-yard line, third and 12. Vanderbilt comes to the line with three wide. Smith hands off. Edwards brings him down for a loss. LSU calls a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. The Commodores are lining up to punt it away. Brooks is back awaiting the punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Brooks takes it for 36. Not a whole lot on the return. Well, I look at it this way. He didn't fumble, and he didn't lose yardage. What more could you ask for? The offense will start at the 42-yard line. LSU comes out with five receivers. Jefferson looking to throw on first down. He passes it, finds the true freshman. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Jefferson lines up in the shotgun. Jefferson slings it. It's complete. Down the sideline to the 10. And he will score. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. They're going to flag the celebration there. And sports will on the offense. The team will be forced on the drop. So the kicker lines up for the PAT. He makes the PAT. Down to just a few seconds left here before the half. And our score, LSU 10, Vanderbilt 3.
LSU. Get set to kick this one away. Norman and Graham back ready to return. He kicks it off. Norman takes it at the four. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll go to work at the 33. Vanderbilt comes to the line with three wide, and he's hit as he throws. This one is incomplete. They almost got to him that time. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmaker. In second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 33. The Commodore set up in the gun. Looking. He throws it. And it's intercepted. And they turn it over right before the half. Well, this really hurts them here. They're trying to cut into that lead before they got into the showers for halftime. But unfortunately, this turnover will still leave them down as they get into the locker room. They line up at the 12. It's first down. The Tigers line up with Trips Wright. Here's the give. He's taken down at the 14. We've still got a half of football remaining, but our score at halftime is LSU 10, Vanderbilt 3. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. Kicks it away. Number eight takes it to 12. And now we'll see the offense coming out, out of the field for their next possession. This drive will start at the 31 yard line. At the 31 yard line. First and 10. They line up in an eye. Jefferson gives it up the middle. Tackled for a loss. Two-yard loss for the halfback. Loss of two on the play. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 29-yard line. Three wideouts here. Jefferson. Set to go to the air. Toss is short. It falls incomplete. He let that one go before the defense got to him, and it fell incomplete. Well, sometimes if you can safely get rid of the ball, it's your best option. From their own 29-yard line, third down and 12 to go. Jefferson lines up with five wide out. Looks to pass. Moves up in the pocket. He tosses it short. Caught. Owen with the tackle at the 36-yard line. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Well, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. LSU lining up the punt. Norman, the return man. Punts the ball away. Fields it at the 22. He just got shot down on the punt return. Yeah, in situations like that, Brad, it's probably best if you just call for a fair catch. They'll get the ball here at the 24-yard line. 
Smith is back in the gun. Under heavy pressure, Smith is going to be sacked for a loss. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Hold it. On the offense. Ten yard penalty. Still he didn't even try to hide it there. That was a blatant holding call. They'll call that every time. It's first and a mile. Vanderbilt lines up for the shotgun set. Gets to the tailback. Livingston brings him down for a loss. And he couldn't go anywhere on that one. Nah, he couldn't go anywhere because there was no place for him to run. The defensive front got a good push and knocked that offensive line backwards. They line up at the 12. Second down. The Tigers line up in a nickelback. Looks. He throws. It's deflected. Incomplete. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. It sure was, Coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. That'll make it third down. From their own 12-yard line. Third and long. Vanderbilt sets up with four receivers. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Looks. Slips it short. Catches it. And they make the stop at the 15-yard line. The receiver did come down with the ball, but he'll be short of the first down. Yeah, I just can't figure out why you run that play on third down. Vanderbilt ready to put this one away. Brooks is back deep to return. He punts it. Brooks takes it at the 45. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Tigers. How exciting is that? Let me tell you, the thing that impressed me on that run back was his ability to recognize the hole and then the quickness that he had to get through the opening. for the point after. And he converts the extra point. So under three minutes to go in the third quarter. And the score, LSU 17, Vanderbilt 3. LSU to kick this one off. Norman and Graham back deep to return. He just drills this one. Graham fields it in the end zone. He jukes him. The defense did a good job against him the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. But remember, they had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this time. The offense will start at the 25. The Commodore are lining up with three receivers. They'll get him for a loss. Number 78 looks to be a little slow getting up. Line up at the 23. It's second down. Vanderbilt comes out with five receivers. They'll run the option. And he's leveled at the 19-yard line. Third down and a 
couple miles here. The Commodore with four receivers steps up. Long ball right side. And he's got it! At the 30, to the 20, to the 10, touchdown! I tell you, the way that play was designed, Scooter, I think you and I might have been able to turn on the Jets there. That was a great play. He's a big guy. They'd have to treat both of us afterwards. So the kicker lines up for the PAT. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than two to go in the third quarter, our score, LSU 17, Vanderbilt 10. This one away. And this one's a short kick. Number eight takes it at the 14. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll go to work at the 33. First and 10. Number 34 lines up in the deep back. I formation. Jefferson to the air on first down. Batted ball. That's just a great defensive play. It won't look like much in the stat book, but that's getting the job done. So that'll make it second down. Second, second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. The Tiger set up in the gun. Jefferson hands it off to ahead. Barnes tackles him at the 34. Maybe a yard on that draw play. Now it's third and nine coming up. LSU in a five wide set. He drops back. He steps up, he zips it, that close to being intercepted. That could have easily been a turnover. Yeah, I don't even think the quarterback even saw that guy. Well, he almost saw him running the other direction with the football. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Norman will be the return man. Kelton punts it, and this is a wonderful kick. Norman fields it at the 22. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. The offense will take over at the 29-yard line. And they have three receivers punch. They'll give it off here. Two-yard loss. Second down. Vanderbilt comes out in the shotgun. Down the middle. It's deflected. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. From their own 27-yard line. Third down and 12 to go. They come out with three wide receivers. Smith lines up in the shotgun. He's 
hit and got away. The quarterback picks up around six yards on the scramble. The Commodores line up the punt. Brooks already made him pay with a punt return earlier. Punts the ball away. Brooks calls for the fair catch. Yo, the defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Yeah, the offense wasn't clicking on their last possession. We'll see if they have things figured out on this next drive. They'll get the ball here at the 21. the middle and he's tackled at the 25 yard line number 34 gains about four yards on the play so that'll make it second down well only a quarter remains and we've got a tight game with the score LSU 17 Vanderbilt 10 second and six coming up here ball on their own 25 the Tigers line up with five receivers Back to pass, steps up in the pocket, throws it. He's hit and taken down. Good hook up there. They get an eight-yard gain and a first down. And that was a pretty good-looking throw, Brad. It's first down. LSU comes out with an eye formation. Back to pass. Looking over the middle. They can't connect. Incomplete. Randall was the intended target on the play. So that'll make it second down. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 33. Jefferson lines up with four wideouts. Looks to pass. Let's it fly. Complete. Breaks one. Barnes with the tackle at the 39. Short pass there, and they get a moderate gain. There's nothing wrong with nickel and diamond him down the field. Third down and four coming up on this one. Ball on the 39-yard line. They're in the eye. They're going to pitch it. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. They tried to run the ball for the first down. They didn't get it. No, sir. You saw the defense just power through their blocks and wham into him. The Tigers are lining up to punt it away. Norman is the deep man awaiting the return. He really got a hold of that one. Norman takes it at the 12. What do you guys think this offense has to do to get their team back in this game? Well, Brad, this is only a one possession game, but I think they need to get in the end zone on this drive. They have a little bit of time, but they certainly can't afford to turn the ball over here. They need points right now. First and 10. Ball on their own 15. Smith is back in the gun. Smith passes, and that one's fallen incomplete. Swimberly was the intended target, so that'll make it second down. It's second down. The Commodore come out in the eighth formation, trying to juke. Great job by the defensive lineman here to get a paw on him and put him to the turf. Third down, 10 yards to go. The Tigers bring in the nickel package. Smith slings it. That is all. The defender had it and then dropped it. Good job of holding them by the defense, and now the offense will have to punt. Four, 
The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Brooks is back to receive. He gets it away. Brooks fields it at the 44. So they put the ball in the hands of this offense to try to build upon their one possession lead. Right now, I think they're more worried about controlling the ball than putting points on the board. Right? That's true, Kirk. But if they put points on the board now, they can make it a two possession ball game. And that would be pretty difficult to overcome. LSU has the chance to ice things right here. Going with the shotgun here. Jefferson hands off to the left, and he's hit hard at the 35-yard line. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he's able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no option. It's second down. The Tiger line up in an eye formation. Brings him down for a loss. Wow, that was the cornerback who got into the backfield there. How about that for some run support? Well, when you've got a guy that can cover receivers and come in and make big hits in a running game, then you know you got a special <laughs> cornerback. This guy can cover like a corner and hit like a safety. That is something special. The Tiger go with the I formation. Jefferson drops back. Looks like he's going to run. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. Vanderbilt will take a timeout, and they've got two remaining. It's fourth down, and the field goal unit's out to try this 48-yarder. It's up. Looks long enough. And it is good. Let me tell you, Kirk, why that field goal was so important. What that does is puts these guys up by two scores, but not a bunch of time left on the old clock. Yeah, and that was a crucial kick, and it very well could end up being the difference in the game. LSU get set to kick this one away. Norman and Graham back to return. He sends it off. Graham fields it in the end zone, makes a move. So what do you think about this situation, fellas? At this point, I think this game looks like it's out of reach, Coach. <laughs> Not so fast, Kirk. It's only a two-possession game, and these guys won't give up. A quick score, an onside kick, and another quick score, and we're talking about a completely different situation. The Commodore set up in the gun. He throws right. The ball is tipped. And that one's incomplete. Number 23 was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll bring up second down. From their own 22-yard line. So it's second and 10. Smith with three wide receivers. Across the middle. And he pulls it down. Defense was coming with heat on that play. Yeah, but the offense did a good job of picking up their assignments. And that gave the quarterback enough time to throw a nice pass to pick up the first down. There you have it, folks. They really earned it out there today. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Let's it go. This one is incomplete. Bad pass. He missed a guy who was all alone. Man, is that hurt. They drew up a great play, but failed to execute. From their own 42-yard line. Second down. 
Vanderbilt comes out on the shotgun. Drops back to pass. And now he's going to run. He's tackled at the 50. Third and two. Ball right around midfield. The Commodore. Come out in the shotgun. Wins the fly. They can't connect. Incomplete. That's going to bring up fourth down. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Smith lines up in the shotgun. Taylor tackles him at the 48-yard line. The defense stopped him. That fourth down play was very important as far as the big Mo is concerned. Now they have momentum on their side. Go for it. They'll set up shot at the 48. The Tigers line up in an eye formation, and they make the stop at the 49-yard line. Vanderbilt will call a timeout. That was their second timeout. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. The Tigers go with the eye formation, and they got to him before he could get back to the line. The Commodores call for a timeout, and now they got no timeouts left. It's third and 10. Ball on the 48. The Tigers line up in an I formation. They'll go with a run once again. They'll get him for a loss. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone by him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. That guy's so big, Kirk, he doesn't plug up holes. He plugs up the whole line down there. Gilbert. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Helton awaits the snap. He punts it. Signals for a fair catch. And this one's all wrapped up. Kirk, what'd you think of this one? There was no doubt who the better team was today, Brad. Vanderbilt did a nice job of hanging in there against a far superior team, but in the end, they just didn't have enough to get it done. They played well, though. Nice job, guys. Folks, thanks for tuning in to our game. Our final score, LSU 20. Vanderbilt, 10. From all of us here at EA Sports, we hope to see you again soon. Goodbye, everybody.